In this tutorial, I will make this medallion and place it on a certificate. Now, the baseball player and the certificate were images from the internet. So, first we need to open a file, a new file, leave it at the default and click OK. Now, right click the layer and add an alpha channel. Now I choose my elliptical tool, click the radio little box there, expand from the center and fixed ratio. Move to the center of the area and just open it up and just move it down a little. Now I choose my blend tool, go to the corner of the blend tool there and select the gold blend or gradient. Go up high because the, the gradient starts dark and drag it down. Come over here to the layers channel and put in a new layer. Now that transparency layer takes that selection with it. Now we go to select and we click on shrink and we shrink that by 10 pixels. So we just use the tumbler, 10 pixels, and click OK. Now we choose our paintbrush tool, click on the heavy brush, and come down here into spacing. You move that up to 100. You can use the tumbler or you just use that little arrow and click about halfway. Now the size is far too big, you can see there it's far too big. So we need to bring that down to 10 pixels. Now we change our colours by clicking on the double ended arrow to white. And we go to edit and we stroke. And we click the radio button stroke with a paintbrush tool. Click stroke. Let's put our circle around the medallion. Go to select and select none. Now white works much better than any other colour in this format. Colours will work but black doesn't. It just seems to want to disappear. So I'll go and get my file that I, of the baseball player. So I'll open his layers and I've got him on the desktop. That's my baseball player. Open. Now he's far too big. So I'll go to the resize tool and just drag him down. So he gets to a size where it'll fit that medallion and then scale. Go to my move tool, click the radio button there, move the active layer, move him into place around about the centre place. Now I choose my now I choose my fuzzy select tool, click in there once, click the add to selection icon and click in the other areas where there's a fuzziness needs to be added. So I click in there and in there. There's a little tiny one inside there. And now I just hit the delete key on the keyboard. Now I go to select and select none. Now I need to put some text in. And once again we leave it at white. We go to edit and we click on once again on the edge there and choose uh, for this example I'll just choose that one there bold and I'll know that the size will be a little bit small but we'll see how we go you pipe in your text move the text up a little bit bigger and then go to move tool move the active layer as already selected and move it into place now we go and put some more text in down the bottom here Winning team, go to the move tool and move it up into the proper place. Now I could have put that in a circular path inside there, but it's a long process and there's a link below. If you click on show more, there's a link which goes to a web page that shows how to put text on a circular path. So now we need to put this all this thing into one. 
Now if you, you turn the eye off there and then turn around and right click and ask it to merge visible layers and then turn the background layer back on, it won't work. So you need to merge them down all individually. So you right click the top one, merge down, merge down, right click and merge down. That places it all on our second layer, which is the circular path layer. Now we click on our background layer, go to filters and go to map and choose bump map. Now in the bump map you can go down the corner here and get the double ended arrow and drag it out so you can see your medallion much better. Just, just You can see now that where the black was on the outside of all this disappears. You can see there it sinks in. Now I can change the, the depth of that by making it brighter by moving it up. You can see how stronger it gets. But I prefer that where it was, it's on three. We click OK. Now I click the top layer and take, place it in the, the, the waste bin or delete layer. And there's our layer. Now I'll go to my fuzzy select tool once again and then click inside there and then press the delete key. That gives me my transparency. Now we go to select and we select none. Now we go to file and we open a new window which is our baseball certificate, the award that I got from the internet. And we click on that one and open. Return to our other window. Go to edit and copy. Return to the certificate window. Go to now we go to edit and we paste. Now we make it a layer by pressing that button there. We've got our move tool and just move it into place. Over here and right click the top layer and merge down and there's our certificate. As I stated earlier you can use a photograph as well as long as there's not too many dark areas like shadows. So I'll close this off and I'll show you how it's done as well. Now we go to file, new and we choose the template this time. We come down and make a big template, click OK right click the area, add an alpha channel, go to my elliptical tool and make sure they expand from the centre and fixed ratio chosen and just spring it out nice and big. Go to the blend tool and choose a gradient. Well, you can use another colour if you like in the gradient like silver or, or whatever but I like to use the golden one and once again just drag it down. Make a new layer. OK Go to select and we shrink that one by 10 pixels once again. Choose a, a go to the paintbrush tool, choose the heavy brush, move this up to about 100. And this for this image is okay for the big heavy one. Now we change our colour to white by that double ended arrow, go to edit and we stroke that selection with the brush. You click that radio button there and stroke. Now we can turn our selection off, select none, go to file, open as layers, that's our image I've got on the, on the desktop that I've already cut out because that's the way to do it and you click on open. You can use another type of image as long as there's no uh, too many shadows. That one's not too bad. Now I right click the top one and merge down onto that circular path one. Choose our background layer, go to filters, bump map. Now once again we can drag that out to a bigger one and we click on the compass point there and move it so we can see the photograph type of image. Now here you can change the depth to make it stand out much clearer. Just move it up a little. It's not too bad. 16 or maybe 10. Work on the 10. 
Now you can change the map type by this type here. A lot of them use this one here, but I prefer the top one. I prefer the linear and click OK. Now go to the top layer and put it in the waste bin. And there's our medallion. You go to the fuzzy selection tool, select that one there and hit the delete key which removes the background. Go to select and select none. Now the, all this information on how to make the certificate and the medallion are in a PDF file on the website listed below.